Okay, I want to demonstrate a case of uh, application of uh, foam wash sclerotherapy in a multi-segment fashion because we cannot have the catheter for in and out too far apart. Now, in this case, uh, that's why we have uh, A and B and C angiocaths uh, in the varicose vein. But she had, uh, what she came with was a very symptomatic, she has stasis dermatitis on this side, which is hard to show now. Uh, so great saphenous reflux coming to great saphenous plus an intersaphenous vein here which merges with short saphenous at this level and causes severe short saphenous reflux and uh, varicosity at the lower half of short saphenous. Short saphenous in the upper half is innocent and normal. So we're not treating that. So I'm treating the intersaphenous and its connection with uh, distal short saphenous by uh, foam washout sclerotherapy and we do foam wash out again. Uh, I hope you have watched my other videos. The, the idea is to, to put the medicine in the, in the target vein, varicose vein, and then get the effect uh, in the few seconds that it comes in contact with endothelium, and then pull the catheter, uh, pull the medication out and throw it in trash. And uh, that is the first time really in history uh, that anyone has suggested to put the medicine inside the body, get the result, and then remove the medicine intact and, and trash the medicine. This way we avoid side effects, which is spreading of the medication to other targets, which is deep vein thrombosis, so through perforators has much less chance to get it. So a lot of benefits. If uh, one starts doing them more, you will notice uh, the advantages of this treatment, uh, which are not one or two, they are numerous. So, so we're going for the proximal treatment segment. This is 2.5% uh, sotradecol. Uh, uh, so now I find the good part of the short saphenous vein and block any medicine and get in there. So as I'm going, you can see in the... In the second one, she has removed most of the foams out. So I'll even pull out a little because we had a 5-10 second uh, contact uh, to, it, to the endothelium. That is enough time. We don't need to leave all these foam and sclerosing agent in the system to spread to other areas. So it's time to change the way we think about foam sclerotherapy. I will go for the second one. Yes. So here was a perforator, uh, so I keep a little manual pressure here, but we are safe because foam is mostly out. Now we're going to inject uh, the same medication, uh, again about 6 ml of foam. See now foam again going in from one end and coming from the other end out. A little mixture as you can see. So we know what happens inside the, the body. If the vein is very large, we get a little mixing with blood. There's no way around that, even with leg elevation. If the vein is small, you get really the same white pure foam out. But as long as the active medicine is out. Now, interestingly, in this syringe, I believe there is those endothelins that in many conferences you have heard from many experts, endothelins that uh, result from the damage to the endothelial cells, they, that they are vasoactive substances, that they can cause migraine type of headache or transient neurologic uh, symptoms and deficits. I believe the endothelins are in this syringe because in the three years I've done few thousand cases of this, I have yet to see uh, one of those distant side effects of foam sclerotherapy. No patient has had a headache. We hadn't had any visual disturbance or any other symptoms whatsoever. So I believe if someone tests this, then there is a test for endothelins, they find it in this syringe which we are throwing trash. So I hope uh, we start paying more attention to this technique which has made the foam sclerotherapy much more safe than before. All right, now we can pull the catheters out. Yes, 
and I will massage them distally. And then we'll wrap the leg as usual, just in a normal fashion. And patient will keep the stockings for about, you know, in this case, because it's a large varicose vein, it's more than 10 days, and resumes normal activity. Now we have interestingly less trapped blood and less hyperpigmentation with this technique. Like I said, there are many, many advantages for foam sclerotherapy, foam washout sclerotherapy, where we remove the injected foam over regular sclerotherapy, which over time I'm sure people will notice more and more. Thank you.